Today, I wanna to talk about the biggest life lesson I learned from working in Silicon Valley as an iOS developer from 2014 to 2019. And later in the video, I'm gonna share something about the founding of Instagram that illustrates this, and then we'll finish off the video with a quote from Steve Jobs that really drives the point home. So let's start with my misconception about developers, startup founders, you know, the people out in Silicon Valley that are building big things. And I think many people have this misconception, but you know, I think of like Google engineers, Apple engineers, successful startup founders, you know, I think like just geniuses, child prodigies, like, oh, I, I can never do that. And that's the big misconception because, you know, once you're out there, once you're working with developers, you start to know a lot of founders because let's face it, when you're in San Francisco, like everybody's involved in tech or a startup, you know, somehow. So, you know, a lot of people that are involved in this game and you just start to realize that like, of course, smart and talented, not taking anything away, but the mystique goes away. And you realize that like, there's just normal people, again, smart and talented, normal people, but it's like, no reason that I couldn't be doing big things and cool things like this, right? Like I, I see who they are, what they're doing, what they're achieving, and it just becomes a lot more attainable. Whereas before you're exposed to that world, it is that like mystique, godlike thing where you're like, oh man, I could never do that. And that just goes away once you're in that environment. And it applies to companies too. Like ask anybody that's worked at, you know, various startups or companies out in Silicon Valley, like from the outside looking in, it can seem like, wow, they're doing really cool stuff. It looks awesome, so successful. But once you work there and you kind of pull back the curtain, you kind of see how the sauce is made, you realize it's a bit of a shit show and that like people are just figuring it out as they go. It's kind of like the nature of building a startup in something new, right? Like nobody's done it before. So just by definition, you're figuring it out as you go. So I wanna share something about the founding of Instagram. And this is an excerpt from the book, No Filter, about the story of Instagram. I'm not like plugging it. This is just relevant to what I'm talking about, but let's read it here real quick. By the age 25, Systrom had received an introduction to how growth-driven Facebook was, how scrappy Twitter was, and how procedural and academic Google was, right? He had worked there uh, before founding Instagram. Mind you, we're, we're talking like 2008, 2009 timeframe. So it's not like the tech of today, it's like a decade ago. But anyway, he was able to know their leaders and understand what drove them, which stripped them of their mystery. It's exactly what I was talking about. And again, here you go. From the outside, Silicon Valley looked like it was run by geniuses. From the inside, it was clear that everyone was vulnerable like he was and just figuring it out as they went along. Like I said, I experienced the exact same thing. And to, to finish this up, Systrom wasn't a nerd or a hacker or a quant, but he was perhaps no less qualified to be an entrepreneur. And that just kind of echoes like what I experienced as well. That's why I wanted to share that snippet. When I read that, I was like, holy shit. It's like exactly like how it is. And like I said, the biggest life lesson, the biggest switch was just why can't I build a great business? And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like, why can't I build Apple, Instagram, you know, Google? Like those are of course crazy outliers. However, why can't I build a nice business for myself that leads me to have a, a great life and to where money's like not a problem? Why can't I build a business that gets acquired for 20, 30, 50 million? By the way, if you're familiar with Silicon Valley, those 20 to $50 million acquisitions happen all the time and they don't even make the news. It's like no big deal, run of the mill. Um, but to somebody like a, a $40 million acquisition, that's life changing. So that was the biggest switch for me is like, why there's no reason I can't do this. Again, people out there are very smart and talented. Don't, don't take this as I think they're dumb and anybody can do it. Again, the mystique just gets stripped away. That's the biggest lesson here is that they're just regular people. So again, with hard work, effort, smarts, talent, like you can do it too. And that's a very empowering idea. Like life changing is kind of cliche to say, but it did, it changed my life. Built a business around this YouTube channel. I'm creating a product now. I would have never had the, the gumption, right? Or the, the audacity to be like, yeah, of course I can do it. Without having that experience of working again in San Francisco and Silicon Valley and having that mystique being stripped. And I wanna leave you with this interview excerpt from Steve Jobs, real short. But again, it really just sums all this up and really drives the point home. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is and you're your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. Um, but life, that, that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it. You can influence it. You can... You can build your own things that other people can use. Um, and That's maybe the most important thing, is to shake off this, uh, th this uh, erroneous notion that life is, is there and you're just going to live in it. 
versus embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark upon it. Um, I, I think that's very important. And however you learn that, once you learn it, uh, you'll want to change life and make it better because it's kind of messed up in a lot of ways. Um, once you learn that, you'll never be the same again.